they're basically a bunch of colorful little ponies that go around on adventures and uh, and teach life lessons or something like that. It's a kid's show. I know it's a pony. My Little Pony. It's about horses. My Little Pony. A franchise of lovable toys created by Hasbro in 1983. Since then, they have climbed their way to the top, creating a favorite atmosphere for girls everywhere. But it has also reached the lives of men. And now, bronies everywhere have united and have grown largely in numbers. By the power of friendship and all that is Equestria, bronies can be found almost anywhere. But where? They are all around us, seen as regular people going about their daily lives. But today, we hear their story, as well as the stories of anti-bronies. Let us begin. My little brony, my little brony, ah, my little brony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. Ah, Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have my little brony. Do you know you're all my baby best friend? A brony is someone who is a male, and he loves My Little Pony. Really is just someone who likes My Little Pony to the point where they could say they're fans, but it is only males. A brony is someone who likes My Little Pony. Some type of table freak that's into horses. A brony is basically anyone who likes My Little Pony, whatever it is. Well, usually people who are obsessed with it, which is pretty ridiculous. A Pegasus sister is basically a girl, probably over the, I'm going to say the age of 10, who likes My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Yes, I am a brony. I'm not a brony. I hate My Little Pony. Uh, to a lesser degree, I, the show doesn't bother me. I've had a few giggles from it, but I'm more so into the show, do the irony of it, to make fun of you. Whatever you are. No. That is absolutely no. No. Yeah, I actually, at first I used to call myself a brony, but then I kind of liked the idea of Pega Sister, so I figured I'd call myself that instead. Because <laughs> it's very entertaining, and they have the same creators who made Samurai Jack and uh, Powerpuff Girls. My Little Pony's not meant for guys. It was meant for girls. Because there isn't anything wrong with watching the show. The fact that people are ostracized for the for liking a show that is geared towards female is ignorant to me. Because <laughs> half of them are annoying. It's a little kid show, and we should leave it for the little kids, especially little girls. It's nonsensical, and, and people like to use it to annoy me and torture me. And it's quite different from the previous generation, so that I guess that's why I like it. And it has some of them. Um, some people that worked on cartoons I used to watch as a kid. Is that the purple dark one ish? It's probably that black horse that flipped the other, that flipped that little bear and no, kicked it. Or it's a vampire. Um, I know nothing about Rainbow Dash. Is she the blue one with the rainbow colored hair? I know Rainbow Dash is a horse. Her name is Rainbow Dash. Sounds like a mince meat pie, but the meat wasn't fully cooked. It has a really, really weird face. Pinkie Pie probably isn't a horse, but it might be. Never heard of Pinkie Pie before. Pink. She oh. likes to eat pie. Is it like rare Pokemon? <laughs> Rarity sounds like scarcity. What? Sounds like a bird that's afraid to fly. Fluttershy sounds like butterfly. Never heard of Fluttershy. You made that up. Uh, I love Apple Jacks. She eats apples. Apple Jack is a cereal. That's the type of cereal. You can't fool me. That sounds like a tough dog in the backyard held up by some chains. Is that the one? Little, it looks like a dragon, kind of, but it's not a dragon. Spike is a dog's name, but it's probably another horse. 
The show consists of many different characters, but the main ones are Twilight Sparkle, who is the study-hard, magical unicorn protagonist, Rainbow Dash, a Pegasus pony who is all about going fast and being the best, Pinkie Pie, the hyper, bubbly, and all-out social pony who loves to party, Rarity, a unicorn who thrives on fashion and the trendy life. Fluttershy, the overly timid Pegasus with a gift for interacting with animals. Applejack, a country pony who is always working hard on the apple farm. Then there's Spike, Twilight Sparkle's dragon assistant who loves his job, loves his friends, and is infatuated with Rarity. My favorite pony is Rarity. Rarity is the only pony for me. Rainbow Dash. I mean, she can break the sound barrier by running that fast. She is Flash in female pony form. Pinkie Pie. I want to assume that the bad guys are doing something to the environment. There are no bad guys. Everybody's a good guy. <laughs> I know bad guys commit crimes and do bad things to the horses. They're cowboys. The show focuses on a land called Equestria, which holds towns such as Canterlot, Evertree Forest, and Ponyville, where the characters live. It is under the rule of Princess Celestia and her younger sister, Princess Luna. It is here that the ponies go about their days, doing their jobs, having fun, and assisting in keeping things safe. Each of our main characters represents an element of harmony. Twilight Sparkle is magic. Pinkie Pie is laughter. Rainbow Dash is loyalty. Applejack is honesty, Rarity is generosity, and Fluttershy is kindness. These are used to cast away villains such as Discord, the Draconicus that once ruled Equestria, Nightmare Moon, the corrupted form of Princess Luna, and Queen Chrysalis, who is the Changling hell-bent on taking over Equestria. Let's say this is our dude. He likes football, getting dirty, what have you. Let's say he gets walked up to his friend and he asks some dude who likes My Little Pony, he asks him about the show. And he's just like, no. And then he walks away thinking, um, what was all that about? So he goes along his way and notices that it's actually everywhere. He passes a little girl singing the song. Passes a billboard talking about the show. So finally he's just like, I'll watch it. So he gets home, turns it on, and watches a few episodes and he thinks to himself, eh, it's not bad. But now the show has gotten to him. Things he should be thinking about. He's not being overrun by My Little Pony. So his friend walks up to him again and asks him about the show. And now all he's doing is talking about it. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. And he's filled with shame. He goes home, head hung low, turned on the TV. And the first thing that turns on is of My Little Pony. And what does he see? A big fat rainbow dash staring at him with kindness and love. And he comes to the realization that he is now a brony. But to the world, he's just another meme. You should definitely watch it. It's a very good show to watch. If you don't want to watch it and you fear to be a brony, then don't watch it. But if you don't really care about that, then you should watch it. Stop watching My Little Pony! You know, if you like the show, don't be ashamed to say it. I understand that a lot of people are going to disagree with you liking the show, but if something that entertains you, who cares? I will kill you! Keep on ponying. <laughs> Get a job. <laughs>